Are we taking pictures? Yeah, no. So this is the tour that our guests get to take it when they go into the castle suite. Um, it is locked, so they always have to be with one of us in order to get in. So, When Cinderella rides off in her carriage at the end, this is based off of her carriage, so we've got a lot of the theming. And once we step out, you'll be able to see that on the ground in, in the tile, excuse me, uh, is a seat for Cinderella. <laughs> so is everybody excited? Yeah. yeah. We've got the cameras all ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we know why 10 was the number. Yes. Right. Yes. And, and why they took our measurements. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good thing we have you. It's a luxury elevator. Me up. <laughs> how many flights are, how many stories are there? Um, the castle itself is 180 feet. Mm -hmm. um, there's, it says three floors on here, yeah. but we're skipping a few feet in there. We're uh, about 140 feet up in the air. Okay. And here's Maybe. Good, hurry up. Hi. She'll take it from here. Okay. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. Come on step on out. We've got plenty of room in here. Yeah, she's not in the yellow. We're not the one I mentioned. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the castle suite. This is our foyer in here. Um, we have Cinderella's glass slipper, of course, because she broke the first one. Well, her stepmother broke the first one, and hers is here. It is Steuben glass. Um, it is a six and a half size. Not that I have actually tried to tried or anything, so there was that one time. <laughs> uh, uh, we have, of course, during Cinderella Bration, she was coronated as a princess, so that is her crown. And then we have hand-blown um, hand uh, pumpkins down here um, to remind her and us of her meager beginnings. Um, the things on the wall, the pictures on the wall, are going to be concept art done by Mary Blair. We also know Mary Blair did um, It's a Small World, as well as over in the contemporary, The Mosaic. Above you is going to be the romance portion of the movie. So she goes to the castle um, with the coach, she meets the prince, and she dances with him. And then we all know what happens after that. On, um, on the floor, um, you have 30,000 mosaics pieced wow. together. Anytime you see um, gold, it's going to be 14 karat. Up here is going to be um, white gold anywhere you see the specks. Um, the carriage is always outside the door awaiting your arrival. So we are going to head in. So welcome to Cinderella Castle Suite. It is 650 square feet. Um, it is encompassing three rooms. I'll talk about, I'll just kind of stand in the middle and talk about everything. So the suite opened January of 2007 for a year of million dreams. And it has been going since. The first room we're going to talk about is over here is our parlor. Um, if you guys look out the window, you can look out onto where you guys started, which was Sleepy Hollow. Um, the film on the glass allows, um, so you don't see TV down on the park. Um, the stained glass is going to be the story of Cinderella. So you have her house, the invitation to the ball, the clock striking midnight, um, the glass slipper, Jack and Gus, of course, saving the day, and finally getting the castle in the end. Um, the couch does pull out to a uh, bed. We get fresh flowers from our florists. Um, and also, uh, in here is movie sound quality. Um, they, when they originally set the levels in here, they set it to Pirates of the Caribbean 2 and Cars. And I've watched both movies in here. 
with it being awesome. Okay, do me a favor, my dear. Push that purple button. Push it real hard. There you go. And that's our oh, TV. I thought that was a mirror. Ah! Because <laughs> remember, it's a 17th century castle, so we have to hide some of our uh, new things. Also, just by a push of a button, I can turn my lights off, all from one remote. So you don't even have to get up out of bed. No. So it is what push button on our remote. Okay. We also have to hide some things because of um, we don't have a lot of face, face, and again, 17th century castle. So we have our DVD players here as well as our movies. We also have our stocked bridge, fridge, and of course, as Captain Jack says, this is a dry port. The next port over Epcot, that's where you want to go. <laughs> we also have our closets with our space just to kind of fill out that space area. Our main area, um, starting with the floor, is um, there's glass in that floor, so it reflects very nicely. Um, of course, mirrors make every room look a lot bigger than it actually is. That's why we have mirrors on both sides. We have the crest up top. We have C for Charming and for Cinderella. We have our two beds. Um, do me a favor, pumpkin. See that box right there? Take that knob and lift it up. Uh, so it's going to be our alarm clock, because remember, 17th century castle, we have to hide that stuff. So, go ahead and flip it back under. So, the next person. In here, we also have our TV, but we're going to do it with a portrait. So, we have our portrait of Cinderella. This is the first time we're going to see Cinderella as a portrait and not as an animated character. Um, so, she did sit for us. If you look at the um, windows, those windows are the same kind of windows that we have because she's sitting in other place in her room. Remember, this is not her room. This is her guest room. So, um... We also, if you guys would like, we're going to push that again, and we're going to wax Cinderella. We're going to have one of our fairy godmothers help us out. And here comes our TV. It also has DVD player in here. And if you'd like to watch, if you got to stay up here, and you like to watch the um, fireworks from up here, we do pump the music in, so you're able to listen to the fireworks as they're going off. Underneath it is going to be our... Uh, fireplace because we know that Cinderella was nicknamed because of the cinders um, so but we can't have a fireplace in the castle so we got a little creative um, if you look to the back you're going to see the fiber optics and they are going to make our fireworks this is your hidden Mickey opportunity there's a hidden Mickey in there I know I know it's all um, so from this room we have our bathroom uh, in there, you're going to have um, my favorite thing, which is the tub. Uh, if I could only do one thing in here, that would be it. <laughs> um, next, sleep in the bed. But definitely the tub. Uh, so, in there, did you find it yet? No. It was, wait. It's right there. Those are going to light up in a circle and it's going to come right there. Oop, we got a little bit, so watch for it. Um, in the rest, in the we have three, uh, two different rooms in there. We have, of course, oh, right there, there it is. Oh, watch for it. We have the shower, which is a zero entry shower. It's meaning you can push a wheelchair into there if you needed to. To the right of that is going to be your throne room. I know. Yeah. That's what we call it. Um, and then up above you, or in behind the tub, you're going to have our three mosaics. Um, those are hand done, just like our mosaic out front, one of a kind, nowhere else in the world. Um, and then above it, you're going to have our stars, and we're going to have our um, lights going on in there. So when our guests come to stay, we do provide them with H2O products. Um, we also, during turn down, which if you guys have been on a Disney cruise or stayed in any of our Disney resorts, um, one of our favorite things to do is the towel animals. Well, we went to our partners at um, housekeeping, and they actually made us a towel slipper. So the towel slipper is in there, kind of in a turn down service. Also at night, what we would like them 